Okay, welcome to World Porcelain, and uh, thank you to Peter Fa Peter or Peter. I always I'm wrong, I think. In German, it's, it's, in German it's Peter, Peter, but you can call me Peter too, it doesn't matter. No, I want to yeah. say Peter. Okay. Right, it's Peter. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Peter, to be here. And uh, we would like to, to know something about you, mm -hmm. about your story. Uh, how long have you been painting? When you, have, you began your, your activity and why also? Mm -hmm. I have started porcelain painting 42 years ago and because my mother was a porcelain painter. Oh, yes. yes. But I didn't learn with her because when I started porcelain painting, she already stopped. Uh -huh. But I was inspired, of course, by the pieces she had in her, in our apartment in those days. Okay, okay. And, uh, and then you, uh, y we, we see that you work uh, very often with Aaron, no? How, mm -hmm. how you... When you meet Harun, how, how it was? I met Harun 12 years ago now. We have been working 12 years in the studio together. And I met Harun by coincidence through a, a, a mutual friend of ours in Switzerland, in Zurich. Oh. And in those days, he had no job because he came from England. Oh. And in England, he was working in a, in a creative studio where he did painting, but not on porcelain. He painted on wood and did... Um, a kind of uh, trompe l'oeil on walls and interior design. So he had the basic knowledge of painting he had. The only thing he had to learn was the techniques on porcelain. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. And let's talk about a little bit about your style. Uh, because we see you have a very particular style. How, how could you define it? How, what kind of words you will, will, will use? Well, I call it actually a, a kind of uh, fantastic realism style yeah. and the inspiration gets from everywhere. You know, I go to the cinema or to the opera or to a museum and somehow, how can I describe it, all these single elements, they come together and form in my head a new vision of a new piece. It's difficult to describe because a technique you can learn, but... This yeah. is sometimes so difficult yeah. when you work with students. They want to know you, uh, they want to know where my inspiration comes from. And this is everywhere. If I walk in my garden, I walk through the, my garden, I see the flowers, I see the, the cats walking by. So it's everywhere. You just have to open your eyes. You know? yeah. Yeah, it yeah. comes from you. It's from yes, you, right. You have inside yes. and what do you say? Yeah. And you know, I think in the end, it's a gift. You yeah. can learn a technique, but you are born with this, I think. Yeah. This, this yeah. I would say, this is real talent. Yes. Yeah. yes. You cannot learn. It's not a technique. That's why we don't have to yeah. brag with this. It's just yeah. a gift, really. You know. Yeah. 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 And uh, about your what you have did recently, we we had an interview with Mariela recently. Mm -hmm. uh, we talk about the uh, the fusion experience mm -hmm. she had with you. Mm -hmm. You made a very exciting piece to all together. Mm -hmm. What do you remember about this experience? Well, you know, Mariela and myself, we have been uh, very good friends for a long time. And the idea really, there was Christine Bennett's idea. She's a very good organizer of seminars in the United Kingdom. And it was her idea to bring us together and to do something together. And of course, since Mariela is such a good friend, it was really uh, th one of the highlights I've ever done what concerns seminars. Because her, our styles are so different but all the same, we can, we can form a whole project together very well. So it was really a, a highlight for me to do this with Mariela. Oh, yeah. okay. And uh, you have a school also, right? Yes. W would you tell something about your, your activities in the school? Yes. The, how is your, its name? Um, it's, it's a studio where, where, where Harun and myself, we teach. We have actually two studios. We have a studio where we teach, where we have about um, 150 students My coming God. every year to our studio. Impressive. We have about 80% Swiss people, and then we have people coming from everywhere, from Australia, Thailand, India, United States, everywhere. Okay. And then we have a second studio where I live, and this is where Harun and myself, we work every day. That means we do commissions for, for customers, we create new pieces if it is for exhibition or for a new book or pieces for the students to paint. So it's quite a wide range of different things we are doing. Okay. Uh, last question, the future. What, mm -hmm. what programs do you have in your mind? 
Well, <laughs> what you can tell us? Yes, I don't know. <laughs> well, no, no, I, I, the, the thing is, I have too many things in my head. It's, okay. of course, the, the, the creations and the inspiration that continues all the time. And what I'm doing in my everyday life, I have a kind of diary where I put all my ideas, have the sketches or poems or bird's feathers or wallpaper, I stick it in this sketchbook. Mm -hmm. And then one day I have time to create something new, I go into my mm -hmm. book and I find something new I can paint. Meanwhile, I have about 1,400 pages, only new ideas. Oh, yeah. And I have realized maybe 250, 300, and all the rest is waiting for me till I have time. And I'm aware that one life is not enough to uh, realize <laughs> all, <the laughs> all I want to do. You know? yeah, this is amazing, really. Yeah. Congratulations and thank, thank you, you to for being here. Thank you very much. Thank you.